it's day and welcome back to my channel so oh, we're starting a whole new thing and we're doing five below product reviews uh, so I did a little poll on my Instagram uh, of what people would like to see and product reviews one so our first thing is this really cool little um, pencil bag and the bag itself is the coolest thing so it's iridescent artist wallet set so, <laughs> so did you know you could buy from Five Below on their website? I think this is a new thing. I don't know. So anyway, I go through the motions, but I bought it in person. <laughs> but I did just want to look it up and see what it says in it. And it's a 22-piece art set. So you just, you have to have this bag. All right, so let's get into it. First off, just look at the shininess of this bag. I just can't get over it. So it's a really nice little bag. Um, I collect pencil cases and bags and boxes and things to hold art supplies like way 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 too often um so this is a just a no-brainer for me even if i don't want any of the things in the bag you know for as cheap as everything is a five below it was worth just just for the bag itself so you can see we got some pencils some funky pastels and which i think is funny like the little package graphic is just a pencil drawing there's no pastels used in the actual pencil drawing so I don't know I thought that would have been a good thing like it was funny because even though I looked at the picture like 50 times and the label when I opened it up I was like oh pastels there's there's pastels in here what do I do with that so just look at that reflection Isn't that so cool I feel like it's hard to see on um on screen like how neat it looks because you can see like that circly shape is my ring light overneath uh over top of my workspace so it kind of throws off how it looks like in real life but it's so super cool um, I totally love Hollow. If you guys like Hollow, you've maybe heard of Simply Neological. Yeah, how you say it? <laughs> anyway, she loves Hollow. So here we go, just getting everything open, getting everything ready and checking it out. It's pencils. How different can pencils be, right? Like, so that's the whole point of review. It's like, how does this stack up to your average pencils? So there's like every kind. Here we got this little mini, little mini sharpener. I like him because he's clear. I know I like when things are like have a slightly different look to them than other things. Like I have several pencil sharpeners like this that are the metal ones that I don't know what sets they came with or where I got them or whatever. But I always like when things are a little different. A little eraser. A little white, I guess like a white gum. White gum eraser. And then all the pencils. So like there was a whole bunch of pencils in the set. And I feel like over the years, and I guess as an artist, depending on what your medium is, you end up buying so many things. And then this little, um, I forget what this is called. What's the name of this thing? Blender thing. It's a little blender tool. Um, it just looks like a piece of paper. Um, so <laughs> when I looked at it, I was like, this just looks hard and rough. Um, but yeah, so as an artist, like I feel like whatever your medium is, you probably collect so many supplies of that type. So... Not that my main medium is pencils, but pencils is one of those things where you use for so many things. So if your medium is painting, you know, if you prefer to paint or if you prefer even digital, you tend to have tons of pencils just because you're going through, you're going to, you know, sketch out things that you do or ideas and, and it's just easier. So I feel like I have a million gazillion pencils. So even opening this up, I was like, oh, more pencils. And it just made me like realize how much stuff I have. <laughs> and I'm like, oh man. Um, so these are the little pastels. They're like, uh... A hard chalky pastel so it's not like a soft squishy one and it has been some time since I have used some pastels so while I figure out how to open that up I will tell you <laughs> um, anything like a pastel like a charcoal or um, even like sometimes two soft uh, pencils like the six B four B's and six B's I just smear all over like I have no control of where my hand falls and like my wrist or whatever and I'm always wearing like well not always but for the most part wearing like long sleeve things so it's just like I just smear it all over so right now I'm just checking to see how transfery these ones are and to be honest with you these at this point right now they just feel like chalk like like school chalk like chalkboard chalk which is a, definitely supposed to be a way different consistency than art chalk. So I was like, I don't know um, how those are going to be because even like rubbing my fingers, like if you, if you have like really high quality um, pastels, like even the chalky kinds as well as the soft kinds, if you touch them or rub them, like you're pretty much making a mess. Like they're, I think they take some, some different level of skill just to work with 
to not mess up things as you go. Like just keeping your hand clean and keeping the paper clear and keeping everything nicey nice. So these ones were not really transferring quite as much, I thought, to my hand. They were dustier than they were pigmented as I was touching them. Um, so that could be good or bad for me. So here we go back to the little pocket. Oh, I love this little bag. This bag is so cute. I love it so much. So it's the best. So everyone should get this just for the bag. All right, so it's time to grab everything and see what we're gonna test. So in order to like test pencils, I felt like we should compare them to like normal pencils I would use. So I have my Draftmatics, I have some general pencils, um, some uh, pastels, the uh, chalk pastels that I've used, some different erasers, some different sharpeners, and a few other nubs uh, to do some blending. So I'm just gonna make a little chart so that we can lay out the different types of pencils that, um, that I use and then lay out uh, just like the different comparing them to the other ones. So I don't typically use anything too hard. So like the H is 2H, um, HB. I feel like a lot of times when I use pencils, I'm using like a thicker lead. Like if I'm, if I'm going for a pencil look, I'm using like a thicker lead or um, I'm using just like something softer. So there's only, the only times I use something probably a little thin or a little sharp or hard, like a hard lead, is when I'm going to put a very, very light sketch and I don't want pencil to show through. So then I try to use something a little bit lighter. So I love my Draftmatic pencils. I think they're fantastic. And if you follow me on Instagram, they recently um, <laughs> posted one of my Inktobers. So I was like totally fangirling about that. Um, so you should go check that out if you don't follow that because I was so excited. So anyway, uh, so they are my favorite pencils. So I wanted to see how these pencils stack up. To that and the good thing is like the draftmatics and like like a lot of the art pencils don't really have an eraser on the, the back because you're using your own eraser anyway so I felt like um, I used to when I was younger never want to use art pencils because as a like kid or you know tween I was so used to having that eraser on the back end so why why would I like have two things to hold you know so um, it was an interesting thing because I haven't used these types of pencils in a while because I only use my Draftmatic. So it was kind of interesting to be like, oh, that's right. Like, this is how pencils look. The Draftmatics, now I will say, do you have a tiny eraser underneath that metal cap? So here I'm starting my Draftmatics, and they are just my favorite. And it was funny because I, as I was going with the five below pencils, I felt like there wasn't no, no big difference until I got to my Draftmatics. And then I was like, oh, like, this is what my pencils feel like. And then I just did on the side an extra like plain cheapo pencil from like Target that's also holo, just so I could say, okay, that's what like a normal pencil feels like, you know, like a normal school pencil or something. So now it's time to test the eraser. So if you see on my little chart, I put like where the eraser, where I would try the five below eraser, um, and then the other erasers that I have. So the five below totally felt sticky, like like chunky and rubbing off like a lot, like just falling apart. Um, the Magic Rub was pretty good, the White Pearl. I feel like maybe the Magic Rub might have been one of the best. Like on camera, it, it looks like it got rid of everything uh, mostly. And these are like the nubs that I have. So you can see it's it's not papery. The one I have on the left is, it, it's almost, it's more fiber cottony. I have no idea what it's made of. I don't really think I've ever looked into it to, to, to know. But those are the ones I've historically used. They have, they look like a lot more fibers. Now this one's a slightly cheaper one and it looks a little bit more comparable to the five below one. It looks uh, just less um, less layers like built up, um, less, less soft. So the five below one felt almost like cardboard. It felt like I was trying to blend something with a very hard piece of paper. So I don't know if this is a good one that you can see um, on screen how it works like how it blended, like you can see like something's a little darker or not a little darker, but I don't think you can really appreciate how it felt. And the other one felt really, really scratchy. So at the top here, we have the clear five below pencil sharpener. And well, why don't we just sharpen some pencils? And pencil sharpening is boring. So I sped this part up, but I talked way too much about it. So anyway, it's pencil sharpening. What do you guys use? Do you like regular normal pencils um, with a, an eraser on the end. You like art pencils, um, just like the, the five below type, you know, of those. Um, or, you know, do you like the 
the like draft well not the draft mag but you know the clicky pencils the auto what are they called <laughs> my brain is like not working uh, so let me know what kind of pencils you draw with I always like to find new things and I buy probably too much art stuff but it's always cool to hear what other people like so there's all my stuff um all in all I think that five below stuff wasn't that bad um, when I laid it out like that, it wasn't, I mean, I definitely noticed the difference with my pencils, but I feel like where you really notice the difference with something is using them instead of just swatching them. So after I, I tested everything and swatched everything, um, I did uh, take a break and walk away from the video and come back. Uh, so this little book we have is also from Five Below. Um, I did not find it on their website, and it was one that I had purchased... Um, I think I maybe purchased it when I got the little envelope or before, just because whenever I see a little sketchbook, I can't help myself. So, <laughs> but I figured the best place to test Five Below products was going to be on a Five Below book. The paper feels just very thin and smooth. Um, nothing, it's definitely not mixed media pen, uh, paper, uh, but it's 100 pages. So for being, you know, from Five Below, um, just to have a little sketchbook, it's kind of nice, like a little wire bound. It, you know, obviously lays flat and you can fold it over. So it's nice. So here I am picking out some pencils because I'm not going to use all of them. So I'm picking my basic softy ones and then like one harder one just so that I've, I've had used it. <laughs> and I'm not only using the few things that I want to use, but kind of getting a fuller picture of using the pencils. And again, pencils are pencils. So that's not crazy different like if you just need some pencils I think the five below art brand and their stuff isn't bad like you could just you know if you just need some pencils to draw um it's all good I like the draftmatics I like the way they feel I like the way they're right um but even them you're, you're filling them with other you can fill them with any lead that you you want to buy so it's really more about like feeling the pencil and holding it and how it's in your hand um so here I come in with that <laughs> with those pastels and they were super chalky super super chalky they created so much dust i'm trying to erase and smudge away all the dust and lines that they have but they blend it well with my finger i tried to use the little paper stump but literally using that paper stump was like taking printer paper balled up and trying to so that little stump was useless so if you do buy this kit or any kit like that um from five below it's possible that that kind of thing peripheral is going to be useless um, the chalk was fine. It was super chalky. This is not the right paper for it. Um, it was super dusty, uh, but it was neat to work with and blend it well with my finger when it got all warmed up. So, well, that is my finished piece. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for uh, subscribing and liking and commenting and, you know, helping me figure out what you guys wanted to see. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.